What's up everybody? Uh, I apologize for the sniffing ahead of time. I am in the process of uh, rearranging my room and I have inhaled a lot of dust. <laughs> or uh, dirt or dust. Dust. Yeah, a lot of dust. And so my nose is still running. It, it won't stop running. But anyways, I was rearranging my comic books and uh, I thought I'd do a video showing you my my giant mismatch collection here of comics. So starting off, I have Predator Bad Blood on the back. Aliens vs. Predator Duel. Alien vs. Predator issue number four. Uh, I believe I have the other issues, but Alien vs. Predator... Wait a minute. Did I just show that one? Uh, oh, man. Oh, yeah, okay. I have two of these. Uh, so, I don't know how I got two of them, but I got two. Alright, so, Alien vs. Predator, yeah, issue number four. Alien vs. Predator Duel with the Pred Alien. And this is uh, issue number two of two, I believe. Uh, nothing on the back of that. Alien vs. Predator issue number one. Issue number two. Issue number three. And I showed for earlier. <laughs> uh, as a kid, or my early teens, I got into Spawn. This is uh, Curse of the Spawn number three. On the back, Curse of the Spawn number seven. Oh, apologize for all the sniffing, guys. Uh, a lot of dust in this room. Just rearranging uh, everything. Uh, Curse of the Spawn. More Curse of the Spawn. Uh, Curse of the Spawn issue number one. Uh, this is, I think, issue number 31. Uh, and uh, this is what, when he goes up against the uh, Redeemer. He's one of my other favorite characters. Well, one of many favorite characters. Uh, Spawn. On, on the back of that, I have uh, more Spawn right there. So I'm just going to hold these up to the camera. Uh Man, I hate rearranging and cleaning stuff. I can't stop sniffing. Oh, man. My nose is going to be running all night long. Oh, man. I think McFarlane Toys actually released a figure of this, of him holding the uh, two guns in that same exact pose. It looks awesome. I always wanted that figure. I never got around to getting it. Uh, yes, Fathom. I was a... Uh, Wait a minute, this is the swimsuit special. Uh, let's put that aside. <laughs> uh, there we go. Fathom, issue number one. Um, I was a collector of Fathom for a short while. And I just kind of stopped buying them. And I think she did team up with uh, The Darkness and Witchblade at one point. That's another comic I did not get of the Fathom. It was one of the special Fathom comics. Uh, some Dragon Ball Z. I don't even know how I acquired these. <laughs> I was just going through my collection and uh, I saw Dragon Ball Z. I was like, huh, well, I was uh, very big into Dragon Ball Z when I was little, so maybe I got these some point in my life, but I don't remember how. <laughs> uh all right, more Dragon Ball, more Dragon Ball. Gonna try to move this along quickly because I have so many comics. Um, Anime Insider. Yeah, this is back when I used to buy magazines like these. There were these magazines that came out that were called Wizard Magazine. Yeah, Wizard Magazine. Yeah, Wizard. Well, I have stacks of those because basically those magazines were my internet before I even had a computer. <laughs> Back when I was a wee little lad. Transformers Generations 2. And I think this opens up. Uh, that reveals something else. But yeah, I got it inside the um, plastic there. So uh, yeah, I'll just move that along. Snake Eyes. Cobra Commander there with Megatron over him. Looks pretty cool. Uh, Snake Eyes again. 
and more Transformers G.I. Joe collaborations. Daredevil, the man without fear. With uh, Spider-Man putting his hand on the shoulder there. And uh, nothing on the back of that. Uh, did not even know I had this. The Mighty Thor, Lord of Asgard. Huh. I uh, did not know I had this. <laughs> the Order. You know what it is? I think most of these I never even got around to reading. I just got around to collecting, but not reading. So I better get on that. X-Men Ultimate, or Ultimate X-Men. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh yeah, I have some more. The Uncanny X-Men right there. And wow, Thanos Infinity Abyss. Three of six? Okay, uh... Was unaware I owned this, but I own this and it's cool. Why are there claws coming out of Thanos' glove there? Oh man. Uh, hold on, I gotta wipe my nose. Ugh. Damn you, dust. Damn you, dust bunnies. Ugh, go away. Oh man. Okay, continuing on. <laughs> uh, Extreme X Men. I did not read that one either. Uh, yeah, these are the Spawn comics that actually came with the action figures when the uh, Spawn action figure line was first coming out back in, I think, the late 90s. And um, I remember when I first saw those McFarlane toys, and I was like, oh man, I gotta collect these. And uh, each toy came with their own comic book. And that's how I got into Spawn. Uh, Spawn, this is the uh, Shadowhawks. He fights one of the... Shadowhawk Sky, or I think that is Shadowhawk. I can't remember. Uh, Alright, and uh, it's another one that came with the action figure. Uh, Curse of the Spawn. Uh, number one? I thought I showed this already. Huh. And there's more Curse of the Spawn on the back. Curse of the Spawn. Uh, I do have the Curse of the Spawn action figure up by my uh, TV. I forgot that guy's name. And I gotta wipe my nose again. Oh, god damn. Oh. Okay. Damn, I picked the worst time to do this video, but... <laughs> you know, I figure if I'm gonna put these, or stack these all the way anyways, I might as well record it right now, instead of later. Uh, Judge Dredd vs. Aliens, the uh, trade paperback. This is a very good read. I highly recommend it. If you're an Aliens or J Judge Dredd fan. Uh, it's very good. Awesome, awesome uh, action in that book. Uh, yes, Birth of Venom. Um, I do have another Venom trade paperback book here. Yes. Uh, this one, I actually got, I think, during the late eight, or no, dur late 90s, late 90s. I got this one during the late 90s. Uh, some of uh, McFarlane's work when he used to work with Marvel for a while, and he did artwork for Spider-Man. Uh, and then this one is like a, I guess a newer one. I got this into like the early 2000s. Alright. Um, this. The hollow foil cover. Basically, it has the uh, Spider-Man versus uh, Lizard, Lizard story. And I think this is the rip. Yeah, it's ripped. <laughs> uh, funny story about this. When I was going to this, uh, this private school... And uh, I brought this comic to school, and I showed this girl the back of the comic, and I was like, oh, ooh, look at Psylocke, she's so sexy. And the girl grabbed the comic for me and ripped it. She, well, she tore it a little bit, but she, yeah, she damaged my comic book, basically. So, that's the story behind that. <laughs> uh, let's see here, official comic stories from the hit video game. Uh, basically, this is... The first collection of Resident Evil uh, stories in their comic book form. I forgot I even had this. And I never even got around to collecting the others. I should get around to collecting the others. Hmm. Uh, and this. Uh, yeah. This, I just bought it just because it had Avengers on it and... Uh, I didn't realize this was like volume three right there. It says on the side right there, volume three. 
So I'm going to have to get around to getting volume one and two first and read those first before I even think about reading this. <clears throat> All right, moving on. Watchmen, graphic novel. Um, saw the movie first, and I was interested into seeing where it originated from, which was the comics, and I went and bought the graphic novel, and yes, I do even got the movie on, or not Blu-ray, but regular standard DVD director's cut. Uh, Ultimate X-Men issue number 70. Uh, yes, these I got from Free Comic Book Day. So I got Spider-Man comic, the Avengers Age of Ultron comic, which uh, I could have swore I got this not at Free Comic Book Day, but when I went to see the Avengers movie at midnight and they were handing out free comic books and posters, um, I might have a second one of this, I'm not sure. But anyways, it says Free Comic Book Day on that, so I could have possibly got it for, at a Free Comic Book Day. Uh, New 52. And pff, I have two of these? What? Okay, well I have two of those. <laughs> uh, Captain America Thor, The Mighty Fighting Avengers. I don't remember where I got... Oh, now I remember where I got this. When I went to get Arkham City at midnight, and uh, they were handing out free comics at uh, GameStop, and I got this. Batman Journey into Night. Yeah, I knew I had another one. Well, anyways, I got two of those. <laughs> Uh, Transformers, uh, Regeneration 1. Don't remember? Oh, yeah, from Free Comic Book Day. Duh. <laughs> I do believe I got this from Free Comic Book Day as well. Another one from Free Comic Book Day, The Simpsons. Uh, don't remember where I got this from. The Avengers and Transformers crossover. I'm going to have to get the rest of the issues. Ah, yes, Venom. One of my favorite Marvel characters ever, next to Deadpool. I think I have all the Venom Lethal Protector uh, issues. And, uh, yeah. Lethal Protector. Lethal Protector. There's issue number, what is that, six, I think? I don't know. I'm too sick to count right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, Maximum Carnage series. Do I have two here? Uh, I feel like I have... And there's another comic in there. Huh. Well, anyways. Yeah, it's from the uh, Maximum Carnage -ish, uh, series, I think. And, um... I remember playing the game for Sega Genesis. And I still have that game. It's one of my favorite games on Sega Genesis. With the uh, cartridges in red instead of black. Man, I wish they would bring that, or make a, a, a what do you call it? I don't know, HD remake of that game for current gen consoles? That would be pretty sick. Uh, maximum Carnage. Yeah. Try to move this along faster because I don't want this video to be like an hour long. <clears throat> I actually had to um, rebuy all these Maximum Carnage comic books because uh, when I had them when I was a kid, somebody stole them from me. And uh, as I got older, I of course went on eBay and you know bought all of them back. Spider-Man Unlimited. And uh, well, I think there's another comic book in there. I just didn't put it in the back part, but yeah. All right, Spawn, Blood Feud. More Curse of the Spawn comics right there with uh, Angela, uh, who is now in Marvel Comics, by the way. I guess they somehow acquired the rights to use her, uh, I think mainly for the Guardians of the Galaxy comics, because they had a few run-ins with her. More Spawn. As I mentioned earlier, I was really into Spawn. 
Curse of Spawn with, uh, oh, I forgot her name. Is it, it's not Priest, is it? Uh, I can't remember if her name is Priest or not from the movie. Oh, well. Uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. Yeah, I have tons of Ultimate Spider-Mans that, you know what, I'm planning on selling all of them in the bulk. So, all of my Ultimate Spider-Mans, they're going to be on sale on eBay pretty soon. And I'll go through those after I'm done with these. Or Ultimate X-Men. Ultimate X-Men. X-Men Legends 2, Rise of Apocalypse, which is uh, based off the video game that I own. Uh, I think it's available for X the original Xbox and uh, PS2, I believe. New Universe DP7. Um, don't remember how I acquired this comic book. <laughs> Hulk Ultimate Destruction. Uh, Ultimate Destruction, sorry. Uh, let's see, pre-order now. Oh yeah, okay. That's right, I pre-ordered the game for Xbox and it came with a free comic book. <sighs> I did not want this video to go over 20 minutes long, but it looks like that's going to be the case because I have all these to show off and then I have a tad more books to show off. So anyways, just gonna show them off and not really talk about them much. Uh, and by the way, Every Ultimate Spider-Man comic book that I am showing in this video uh, is going to be sold. I'm going to sell all of them in a bulk on eBay. I'll probably start to bid at like $20. Um, most of these have been read. I think I read up to like issue 30 and then I lost interest. So the rest of these were pretty much a waste of money. But um, yeah, I am going to get rid of these because no point keeping these if I'm not going to read them. Because I find out, I found out that I'm more into the classic Spider-Man uh, more than the Ultimate Spider-Man, which I do have a few of those, by the way, a few of those original comics. But I don't know where they are. They might be mixed in with the Ultimate Collection somewhere. Uh, Ultimate Spider-Man there with the Avengers. Well, the Ultimate Avengers. Sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, so much dust. Sorry for all the sniffling. Uh, I'll try to keep that to a minimum, but it's hard when my nose is running so much. Yeah, I think I remember reading that when Gwen Stacy died in the comics, uh, and she came back as Carnage. Well, actually, it was a clone of Gwen Stacy, but the clone happened to be Carnage, and he somehow turned himself into Gwen Stacy. It was... I didn't like it. <laughs> I was like, what What the fuck? This is not the carnage that I grew up with. Ugh. Man. So much dust. So much dust. Ugh. I apologize. I deeply apologize. I should have done this video when there was not so much dust floating around. <laughs> but I'm struggling through the pain and trying to do this video and then after this video I'm going to struggle through the pain some more and finish up you know cleaning up the rest of my room because everything's just all over the floor right now Another one? Oh, they felt like another. Oh, I was holding two of those. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes it feels like I'm holding a thick layer here, but I'm actually holding two. And a lot of these are upside down, so I have to keep turning them. Jeez. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. And yep. Ugh. reason why I'm moving very quickly because I already know this. what I have two of these okay well doesn't matter if they're gonna be sold anyways Ugh. Um, yes I'm moving very quickly because I already know this video is gonna be over 20 minutes long probably has gone over 20 minutes long already but uh, 
yeah, don't want this to be too, too long. Like my DVD collection video, that went over an hour long, jeez. But that's because I spent a lot of time uh, commenting on every DVD that I showed in the video. <laughs> uh, so this video, you know, I'm just going to show the comics and not spend too much time commenting on them. And, uh, whoa, is that... Yeah, okay, I'm holding two. So, as you can see, I have tons of issues here. Tons and tons of Ultimate Spider-Mans. Um... Craven the Hunter. What? How do I end up with all these duplicates? How? Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe I'm not keeping good track of what comics I already have, and I just end up getting the duplicate. But uh, am I holding two of these? No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, uh, stay. Okay. And uh, what? Wizard Ace Edition Marvel Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, I don't know about this. Wizard Ace Edition, huh? Well, okay. And what? 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 Aliens? The dead? Oh, okay. It's one of the Aliens versus Predator comics. Uh, the Deadly of the Species. This is, I believe, yeah, issue two of twelve. Okay, so what? Predator versus what? M A G N Mag I don't know I can't pronounce but I'll just say robot fighter because that's pretty much who he is robot fighter but I can't not pronounce that name above it it's like M A G N V S yeah well yeah another uh, obscure predator comic book <clears throat> um, these I'm gonna have to set to the side over here not get it mixed up with the Spider Man comic books. Yep. Moon Knight, or the Ultimate Moon Knight. Uh, uh, this is issues 1, 2, and 3. I believe in a special, like, collector's edition kind of issue that they had. Uh, yep. Electro. He's yellow and not blue. I thought he was blue. He's yellow in Ultimate Spider-Man comic books. Maybe he just changes colors. Uh, let's see, yep, yep, I could have swore I showed this one already, huh, you know what it is, I think I showed a bunch with, uh, Dr. Octopus on the front, and I probably thought I'd seen this cover already, alright, so, yep, yep, oh my gosh, <laughs> do you think starting a bid for all these Sp Ultimate Spider-Man comic books is a good deal? I mean, you see how many I have right now. I'm showing to you guys right now. <clears throat> uh, Morbius. I mean, I don't know if they're worth more than that. Maybe. But I think, you know, starting a bid at $20 is fair, you know. I mean, getting a crap load of Ultimate Spider-Man comic books here. Plus, issue 100. And 101. And this is not Spider-Man. Enslaved Odyssey to the West. Uh, yeah. This is, um, a video game, actually, that I pre-ordered for the PS3. And it came with this comic book. And it's from Marvel. Good game, good game. Uh, yes, Ultimate Spider-Man, issue number 93, with uh, Ultimate Deadpool on the front cover. Alright, so I'm going to show you the last little remaining books that I have left for this video, and then I'm going to end it. Uh, just real quick, just to show you guys what I'm doing here. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm organizing my comic books right here, and don't know if I showed you this already, the Batman Nightfall Volume 1 uh, trade paperback book. It's a good read, and uh, I think I'm going to rearrange that 
somewhere else because I plan on putting some more games in front of my comic books. Uh, yes, up here I am organizing all my games and I have the songbird on top. There in the corner, some of my statues and my other statues and Blu-rays. So yeah, I mean, before this was like my dresser right here, but I moved that <laughs> and I'm just, I don't know, just uh, improvising if, since I cannot figure out where to put a lot of things. So I'm just improvising a lot here. All right, so moving on. All right, so you saw this already, the Walking Dead Compendium Part 1. And I also have Walking Dead Compendium Part 2. And I'm currently waiting for Compendium Part 3 to come out, since I have not read any further than uh, Compendium uh, 2 here. And uh, yeah, Godzilla, Rulers of the Earth, Volume 1. I have to finish reading the rest of this, by the way. <clears throat> and uh, Rulers of the Earth, Volume 2. Half Century War, which was recommended to me by my good friend Freddy, that guy over there. Uh, check out his YouTube channel. He does a lot of cool unboxings. And uh, this was a very good read. I, I really enjoyed this one a lot. Godzilla Awakening, which is the prequel to the recent uh, Godzilla 2014 movie that's currently out on DVD right now. Uh, I still have to buy that, by the way, and I have—I still have to buy plenty of other Blu-rays because I plan on doing a Blu-ray haul video because I've been lacking on my Blu-ray collection and there's tons of movies that I need to buy. <laughs> uh, more free comic book day comic books that I got at uh, my local comic book shops. And I did a video on these already, but uh, I'll show these again in this video anyways. Guardians of the Galaxy. Love the movie. Probably one of my uh, most favorite Marvel movies next to Iron Man 1 and The Avengers. And not sure what this thing is. It might be a comic book. I'm not sure. Still have not got around to reading this yet. Uh, I read this. This is like just a collection of previews of uh, some graphic novels that are out there right now for Street Fighter. So they got a preview of uh, Jirai's story, they got a preview of Akuma's story, and they had one more, another character I can't remember. Uh, wh what is this doing in here? This is a strategy guide that doesn't need to be in here. Same with this. Or this. <laughs> but uh, Good thing I bought this because they're re-releasing this for the PS4 and Xbox One, so, you know, I do plan on buying the game again, but not for full price, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be smart about that. <clears throat> uh, Superman Man of Steel. Of Superman going up against Doomsday there. Uh, this was a whoa, checklist thing, I think. I think, was this like a checklist? Uh, tch, tch, tch. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, okay. Like a little checklist preview thing of all the current comics and graphic novels that are out from DC. Superman versus Doomsday, Hunter Prey. And I think this is the uh, rematch trade paperback. Um, yeah when he goes up against Doomsday, he's either the second or third time. Uh, I still have to read the rest of that omnibus, which I'm going to show pretty soon. And this is uh, Return of Doomsday. Reign of Doomsday. And I think uh, either, was it this one? It was either this one or this one, which was like the last and final time they go up against him. Uh, yes, I do have the Omnibus of the Age of Apocalypse. Which I think the next X-Men movie is going to be based off this. I'm not sure. And last but not least, I have the Omnibus. Whoop, all that's falling over there. Gotta be careful. Alright. I have the Omnibus of the uh, Death and Return of Superman. 
Look how thick this thing is. Look at this. Where's my bookmark? Right there. I'm, I'm only that far in. <laughs> yeah, I've been getting lazy and uh, been playing some video games rather than reading this book. But, uh, you know, sometimes on some of my spare times, I do like to open this up and read some more. Which reminds me, I have to finish up those Godzilla's uh, t -t 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 trade paperbacks. The uh, Rulers of the Earth. Yeah. Because I started to read them, and I started to slack on them a bit, and started to do other stuff. So, anyways, uh, that's my entire mismatch comic book collection <laughs> uh, with the sniffles. Because, yeah, my nose is running due to all the dust that's floating around. Because I'm, you know, moving around a lot of things, and cleaning up a lot of things, and... Man, so much damn dust in this place. <laughs> Alright, I'm Omega Primus. Uh, thanks for watching this to the very end. You rock. Peace out.